Well, to give you some statistics about drunk driving here in the United States, uh, on an average year, I believe the statistics show that 1.4 million people are arrested for DWI. Uh, the public impact of drunk driving crashes results in $114 billion annually. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but before I worked here, I worked for the American Cancer Society. I had an uncle that died of a heart attack. A lot of people don't realize, but three out of ten Americans will be involved in an alcohol-related crash at some point in their lives. Um, the number one cause of death from the ages of three to 34 are traffic crashes. Of those traffic crashes, one-third are alcohol related. This is 100% preventable and what we try and do is let people know the numbers, let people know the statistics and they can make the decision for themselves to watch out for their friends, to go in and make an impact of if you're having a party to have a designated driver set up for your friend or family member. Uh, these numbers are something we deal with every day and once we let the general public know the impact of from the ages of 3 to 34, that is the number one cause of death of traffic crashes, and, and a third of those are completely preventable. I mean, that shows some of the, the impact. And we go in, we work with corporations where we do speeches. We go in and work with schools and all kinds of different partners to let them know uh, some of the statistics and how they can impact to bring those numbers down. Uh, since MAD began in 1980, we're very proud to say that we believe through our support, we've been able to save over 330,000 lives through our programs, through our education and our prevention programs and working with legislation, uh, working with law enforcement and working with schools and communities and churches throughout the United States to help educate people about our mission and what they can do to help save lives themselves.